Now we're doing some stuff on the green van today. I'm going to take a look at the uh, the drive shaft and CV boots and CV joints. The drive shaft and CV joints do um, probably one of the most important jobs on the car. Um, they transfer the, the power from the gearbox and from the engine to your wheels. So they're the only link between your engine and gearbox and your wheels. Uh, so yeah, if they're not working, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, they're a very important maintenance item to check very often on on, uh, on your car uh, so with this well, with this van having been laid up for uh, the best part of 30 years uh, we are going to just assume we're going to have to do a complete overhaul on these joints so we're going to get the, the drive shaft and CV joints off here um, they're held on by bolts um, which are notorious for being hard to get off so I, I don't expect this to go smoothly um, I've done this before on the on the red van, and it usually results in in using a, a vice grips or something to get one or two bolts off. Um, but yeah, these are kind of hex head bolts as well, so you have to be you have to clean them off thoroughly as well before uh, before you start and just give them a bit of a soaking with WD forty or some other similar uh, penetrating fluid of your choice. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll start on that now, and we'll try and uh, we'll try and crack the bolts off. Uh, <laughs> okay, it appear I forgot about friction. Um, I need resistance in order to break the torque on this bolt. And since I pulled the brakes off earlier, I don't have that. So, yeah, we, I, I'm, we're kind of stuck here. Uh, we're not going to be able to break these off without, uh, without some, some kind of resistance. And uh, me holding on to the... Um, Holding on to the end of the studs on the wheel is that's not going to cut the mustard, I'm afraid. So, yeah, I think we'll have to come back to this once we have some brakes on the van. Now, right, we have functioning brakes again. Um, we have a handbrake now, and uh, that is on, and the wheel is not moving at all. Um, so, yeah, we can tackle these CV boots now. We can tackle replacing them. Um, the bolts in there the uh the bolts holding on the cv joints are have all been uh cleaned up they were all caked in mud before um and you couldn't actually even see them um but yeah they're nice and clean now and we can um we can have a go at uh, getting them off and replacing the cv boots just given the uh bolts here a liberal coating of wd-40 um and cleaned out the kind of as much as we can get out of the inside of the the hex head um to get a clean fit for the Allen key. This is like an Allen key head. Uh, it's a number six head, I think. Um, yeah, number six. What I've done here is rotated the um, the drive shaft around so that the bolts are in a good position, so I can get kind of a good straight shot into them with the Allen key wrench. So I'm just kind of like pre-positioning it here. Get it in there, and now we're just going to kind of tap it home a bit with the, the head of the wrench. Um, not a great way to treat your tools, but anyway. <laughs> um, and now we just pop the wrench in there, try and break this off. There we go, it's turning. Okay. Right, that's one of the first bolts off. Um, hopefully our luck will hold the rest of them. One little trick just when you're pulling these bolts out is just to keep kind of upward or uh, outward pressure on the bolt um, as you're turning it with the ratchet. Um, because otherwise, yeah, it tends to want to slip back into the CV joint. You keep kind of pulling it out with your two fingers here. Uh, and I can feel it's, yeah, it's coming loose. Nearly out. Right, uh, it's out. There's bolt number one. We're on the last uh, bolt here on the gearbox side. This should be the only thing holding it onto the gearbox at this point. There we go. Last bolt. Now, this should just come off if we yank it. Get this plate out of the way. 
There, yeah, uh, it's off. Right, swinging free. <laughs> okay, we're uh, at the wheel side now, so we're just going to do the same thing here, and then the whole drive shaft should be free and ready to come out. Right. Yeah, it's off. So my new dumbbells. <laughs> um, cool. So we can start cleaning this up now a bit. Uh, get all this old grease out. Um, and put the new boots on. Okay, got the two drive shafts off the van and onto the bench here. One of them sitting in a vise. We'll get to that in a second. What I got here is just this is the new um, CV boot kit. We've got the boot itself in there and a, a packet of uh, grease, which we'll stuff into the CV joint um, after we clean it. I didn't get, well what doesn't come in the kit is these plates uh, which I've saved from the old CV boot so I've kept those because we need to, yeah, we need to refit those onto the new uh, to the new boots so they go there like that. And also the main, the other big difference is also the, the bolts actually that go, the new bolts that go on. Um, they don't, the new bolts don't have this uh, shoulder that the old ones have. Um, and also the heads in them are slightly, they're, they're quite a bit different as well. These ones are sort of splined heads, uh, whereas the old ones are like hex heads. Yes, yeah, so these splines should be a lot better for getting off in the future. They're less likely to strip out. I think these are also referred to as the ones that go on to uh, Porsche drive shafts as well. So it's probably the closest we're going to have to having uh, Porsche parts in the van. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it. We'll uh, we'll get to uh, cleaning all the horrible old grease off these um, and also uh, disassembling them as well, so we can give them a, a good good proper uh, good proper washing and get the old boots off. Right, uh just gonna remove as much of uh as much of the loose grease as possible here from the old joint. Yeah. So so the important thing to remember here is just to remember the orientation that these were when they came off the van. Um luckily the boot was uh split on the wheel end of this drive shaft, so we know that that was uh that was the wheel end, so we'll, we'll put it back on the right way. Um yeah, get rid of this horrible stuff. I uh, can't can't emphasize how disgusting CV bearing grease is. It's awful stuff. It's dark grey, gloopy, <laughs> sticks to everything. Okay, I'm gonna take the circlip off here. Uh, this is what holds the CV joint onto the drive shaft. Just using the Circle of pliers here. Now the circlip's off. So we're going to try and get the, the whole thing off the drive shaft here and remove the, the boot as well at the same time. So uh, that might require a little bit of persuasion because this has been on here for a very long time. Yeah. yeah. Be able to get bits of the the joint and the boot off here now, and the joint looks like it's just coming off. Yeah. That was not too hard. Surprisingly not hard. <laughs> yeah, I've had to deal with these before where uh, literally you were just hammering on it. Crazy. I don't know if you can see there, but uh, this looks like an original Volkswagen boot. It has the stamp and part number on it there as well. I can see it was starting to split a bit there. Uh, 
yeah, the quality of the replacement boots you get now varies wildly. Um, like I've had ones on before that didn't last a wet week on the van. They just the rubber just cracked after a very short time. But the best ones I've found are those the the Fabi Bilstein ones. They seem to be pretty good. They do last a long time. But yeah, it's amazing that this boot is probably like thirty years old and it's actually still like kind of doing its job, which is uh, pretty impressive. So we have this uh, ring just to take off here as well. Uh, there's a replacement for that in the kit too. But yeah, we'll just we'll start cutting the remains of the boot off uh, the drive shaft here now so we can fit the new one on. I'm not sure what type of clip this is. It's, yeah, well, I'm going to have to destroy it to get it off anyway. It doesn't look in great nick in any case. Um, what most people do now is they just replace these with cable ties. Uh, The cable ties are less, much less likely to end up in this state. Mm -hmm. That's off. Okay, we have movement. So take this off and there now. One kind of free drive shaft. So we'll just uh, take this CV boot here, CV joint here, and uh, try and clean all the as much as the old grease out of it as we can, and then uh, repack it with the new stuff. Now I just I forgot to get this uh, last piece of the CV boot off the CV joint here, this metal piece. So. Uh, Uh, persuading it off there all right okay that was probably just like dried like burnt hot grease uh holding that on um yeah cool so we've got the we've got the joint all ready to be cleaned now So now uh, I've had to just kind of disassemble the CV joint here a bit um, just to get access to everything. So I just rotated the cage and then you can see like, yeah, it all kind of comes apart. It's a good idea to take a photograph of the way it looks before you take it apart because the orientation is important. Um, this like little chamfered edge here on the uh, kind of inner cage where the ball bearings sit. That always faces towards a little kind of scored line on the the CV joint, the outer part of the CV joint. It's important to reassemble it correctly and the way it came out. You need to do a bit more disassembly here. Let's get the ball bearings out, uh, otherwise you can't really clean this effectively. So yeah, you can kind of just pop them out from below. Um, just remember to not to lose them. Um, the last one out there. I've also heard it's a very good idea not to mix up ball bearings from different joints because the way they, they wear differently and they have different tolerances and stuff. Everything I kind of proper clean now. Got everything cleaned up here now. Um, I'm just gonna putting it all back together. Yeah, so we took some kind of reference photographs there earlier just to just to make sure that we get everything back the same way that it came apart. So there's also some, uh, yeah, there's some guides to mean to help you on the, the CV joint, like the this kind of chamfered end of the um, inner sort of cage for the ball bearings that, uh, that always faces this... Um, scored uh, line here on the on the outer cage or the outer part of the cv joint and then there's also some there's also some lettering stamped here on the kind of the inner part of it um that 
you can use as a reference point to show which way this uh, this part will face. So um, yeah, just kind of popping everything back in here now. Get all the new shiny clean ball bearings in. Yeah, this looks all nice and shiny now, but we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna dirty it all up again and pack it with uh, with fresh grease once it's all uh, once it's all kind of reassembled. Uh, right, that's that's him in place there. So yeah, we'll make sure everything's facing the right way. Um, this is a little bit awkward here, so I have to. And get everything in at an angle and then make sure it's all popping back in. There, there. Right. Okay, it's good and good and tight. Um, I didn't notice any damage or anything in the CV joint really. Uh, you, you can get kind of pitting and scoring in them. Um, you know, and if it's too excessive, yeah, it probably means you need a new CV joint. But I think I think these ones are pretty good. Yeah, they look pretty clean and there's there's no damage or anything on them. So I think they're uh, ready to be repacked with grease uh, and given new boots and put back on the van. Yeah, I'm just going to start packing, uh, packing this thing with grease. Just press everything in as far as possible. There's no real clean way of doing this. <laughs> Essentially, want the, the grease to get into every single surface of the joint, and it's one packet per joint, so you just use the whole, just use all of it, kind of rotate it around so it gets all in there. Okay, I think that's pretty well packed in now. Got the uh, joint full of grease and the new. Uh, CV boot has been soaking in some boiling water there just to sort of soften it up uh, so that we can get it on. Right, we'll just try and push it on over the over the drive shaft. Good. As you'd expect, it's very hot. <laughs> okay, let's get over this first lip here. That's why we kind of soaked it in boiling water because we have um new rubbers it's they're always a bit stiff <sighs> really there Okay. Yeah, bring it right down to that point. So yeah, and it, it kind of just like stretches back over the um over the the shaft up to the up to the CV joint as you can see. So uh the next thing we'll do is put on our new uh ring here. Um so we got to make sure that the ring kind of faces like this, this way, this sort of, um, it's kind of dished. So the upper part of the dish faces, uh, down, faces down towards the, uh, the other, the other CV joint. Put that on there. Yeah. And then the, uh, Star of the show, the CV joint goes on there like that. Oh yeah, just uh, gotta remember to make make sure that the line is facing out uh, outwards from the uh, drive shaft. So make sure everything's kind of aligned the same way it was. Get on over these splines here. Good. And then make sure that the the bolt holes are kind of lined up as well, and the 
the boot end. There you are. Okay, it's on. Okay, I'm just going to put the circlet back on now. So that's everything assembled. So we just have three more to do, and uh, then we can put the drive shafts back on the van. Okay, we've got uh, our two uh, drive shaft three assembled here, and uh, doing a bit of a workout with them. <laughs> it's amazing how they they do resemble dumbbells. But uh, yeah, anyway, so they're uh, they've got the new new boots on, they're ready to go on the van. Um, got them repacked with grease there and everything. Uh, but yeah, there is one sort of slight problem though. Um, I'll just put this one down here and show you. But, uh, fortunately, um, I made the classic mistake of assembling these wrong, this one wrong. Uh, luckily I noticed it before I got to the other one, but, um, yeah, I've, I've actually managed to lock the, the joints up. So I need to re uh, disassemble these and, uh, put them back together. Now, yeah, so this is actually how the CV joint should work. Uh, you can see it's moving in and out and it's flexible there. Um, yeah, this, this essentially like allows the wheel to stay, stay vertical when it's turning. Um, and yeah, they're quite, they're quite, they're quite clever dev little, uh, devices. Um, so you can see you can move around, you can flex and move around and yeah, the, the wheel, the wheel won't move with it. Um, this was as opposed to the older type of, um, I can't remember what they were called. I don't know. It's, you know, some different kind of axle that used to be on the older vans, on the split buses and things. Um, and they were prone to, uh, the wheels were prone to kind of, they, they could like toe inwards um, on, on cornering and stuff, which was kind of dangerous, you know, because the, because the vehicle to flip over. So a lot of old cars were designed like that. The CV joints essentially eliminated that problem um yeah like a, a guy uh ralph nader wrote about this in, in his famous book uh unsafe at any speed um so that's kind of why these uh why these little uh, things came about these cv joints but anyway um yeah so we're going to get this we're going to get this onto the van now and bolt it up so um yeah you can join me under there just move, maneuvering this into position here you can get one bolt in just to start it. It'll be good. I've just got a brick there to rest that on. See if we can get another bolt in just to get us all kind of secured. Okay, I think it's roughly roughly in now. So we can just start kind of offering up the other bolts around it. Okay, I'll just tighten the rest of these up here and uh, then we'll do the same on the gearbox end. Now, okay, that's the last of the bolts. I had to use an M8, one of those. Uh, I tried using a smaller one initially and it was kind of spinning around. Um, so yeah, the only remaining thing to do here is just to put some cable ties onto the uh, onto the CV joints the CV boots. <laughs> I remember seeing a picture online years ago of someone who had repaired their CV boots with a pair of old ripped jeans. <laughs> the funniest thing I've ever seen. Some guy bought a van and found this. Found that that's, yeah, someone had uh, used a pair of their old trousers to repair their <laughs> CV, CV boot. Um, well, I'm going to give them some uh, props for ingenuity. I've been tugged there. Okay. All right, we're done. Um, the drive shaft's back on and uh, it's fitted with uh, brand new CV boots, so... Yeah, that's uh, that's that job. Once again, uh, thanks for watching, and hope to see you again in another video.